Happy College Football Saturday. Hope it's a good one. Last time I looked, Penn State got a couple extra touchdowns on Ohio State, but uh, I've been kind of waiting around for my two games today. Now, at 2.30, I'm not calling for an upset. You know, this year I hadn't talked a lot about UTM. Uh, the Vols have been uh, about all I've had time to talk about, even though I've been to four UTM games, and they won every one of them. They're 6-2 and two in the Ohio Valley Conference. And those that are paying attention got their fingers crossed that Kentucky being one-dimensional might give the Skyhawks a chance to come in there to the litter box and get a win. I don't know. I'm not overly optimistic about it. But I love it when FCS teams beat FBS teams. I don't even care if it's the lower-level ones. Uh, but this year, I know... I know UMass got beat by an FCS team, but I, I didn't look it up before I turned on the phone and started shooting here. There hadn't been many. The last few years, it's been fewer. But uh, UTM is 6-2 uh, and two in the Ohio Valley Conference, and they're probably not going to get in that large bid, so this is probably their last game of the year. And uh, I don't know how much motivation would be there for the Skyhawks anyway, because... Uh, that the FCS doesn't give teams credit for beating FBS teams. You believe that? Yeah, that was an issue uh, a couple years ago with Austin P. I I think. But, uh, and maybe they didn't beat any, but they competed with them. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Skyhawks are going up to the litter box, and uh, they're going to get paid. And uh, last time they went to the litter box, I was actually there hoping for an upset, and uh, Kentucky just throttled us 59-14. Hope that doesn't happen today, but I wanted to mention it because I'm going to definitely mention it if UTM somehow pulls off the upset, but uh, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, last year UTM had the second-ranked recruiting class, uh, class in the FCS, and uh, next year they should be pretty good too and they're, they're playing Bama next year Skyhawks are going down you know Alabama you need to quit scheduling teams like Western Carolina and UT Martin you need to start scheduling some teams to help your schedule but you know that's all your old business down there in Tuscaloosa you gumps do what you gotta do and uh tonight of course the double header for me is gonna be uh the Vols going into Como, and uh, I'll probably watch some of that Georgia A&M game. I got a funny feeling Georgia could lose that game, uh, but if their offense clicks, uh, I don't think they will. But anyway, uh, go Skyhawks.